The toolbar holds all the available tools for the skin editor, and the menu bar shouldn't be ignored. The container, rectangle, text, and flash loader are all drawing tools. For these, you select the tool and then click in the editor to add the default shape. Otherwise, you can click and drag to create the shape you need. The Add Image buttons and SVG buttons require you to choose your files. Just select the tool and click in the editor to bring up the dialog and choose your file. The last two icons are for hotspot templates and node markers. If you're curious, we have in-depth tutorials on both of these features and they can be found in our documentation. To the right of the toolbar, you'll find a history button. Clicking once on it will step back in history or undo one action at a time. Click and hold the button to pop up the history. You can zoom in to the editor using this menu here. And if you're working with states, you can choose which one to work in. Red borders indicate the normal state, mouse over will be blue, and the selected state will be green. Finally, the last tool might be the most helpful. This is the Skin Editor's Live Preview, where you can see how your skin is building up and how it works, since it's also interactive. In the menu bar, you can also add elements by selecting them here in the Elements menu. You'll still need to first click in the canvas to bring up the dialog. A few other helpful tools are Alignment and Distribution in the Edit menu, and the Snap to Grid and Guides in the View menu. And if you're in a hurry, you can add the default loading bar from the Elements menu.